and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again for another beer review. I've just been to Barton's, asked to make a field to do my fortnightly beer run to pick up some booze and we'll just quickly run through what I've got um, for the next sort of couple of reviews. I um, will start off with this one, it is a Wylan and uh, IMBC and it is El, to El Topo, the Mexican oatmeal stout this weighs in at 7.2%. Seen some good things about that on the internet. Uh, another Wyland beer, it's a Wyland collab with Yeasty Boys, and this is the uh, y uh, WXY4, the Southern Hemisphere IPA, this weighs in at 7. Um, we've got a left-handed giant, a uh, Twin Glow, a, a dual hop Indian Pale Ale at 6.3, nice can art. Um, I've got two um, Stillwater Artisanals. Um, I've got Action Bronsons, I'm assuming that's 7,000. And this is an Imperial Milk Stout. Oh no, it's not, this is a, a dry hop sour with muscat grapes. This weighs in at 5%. We're looking forward to reviewing that. And I've got this one here. Still what is nothing. Big Buddy is everything. Agent Wilderness approves this message. It is. And this is the Imperial Milk Stout. Um, and this weighs in at 8%. Uh, so these are all available out of Barton's. Now, what I'm going to review um, today. Um, I had at the beer festival. The, sorry, the beer festival, the craft beer expo, and I've got the t-shirt and I'm wearing it. Right, dank and juicy. This is my dry and bitter out of Denmark. Now, I woke up on Sunday morning with a little bit of a bad head. I found this t-shirt and I had no idea what it was, who had bought it. Um, I just did not know. I don't remember buying it. I don't remember having this t-shirt, this, this beer. But again, went to Barton's, I put the t-shirt on, and I saw that. Dank and juicy. What a can that is. Look at that. Pimp Cadillac, is it? Pimp yeah, Chrysler, maybe? Looks like something the Huggy Bear would drive. Pretty sweet, anyway. I, yeah, the old, they go clothes, purple, they go purple, they glow. Yellow, they go blue pink, all the luminous stuff, looks really nice. This weighs in at, if I can find it, uh, I think it's 6.2, it's very, very badly written. It's there, it's white on the old green and blue background. I'm pretty sure it's 6.2. There is a little bit of a description. I'll try and muddle my way through this. Dank and juicy, um, dual full, dual dual full glowing, West Coast style IPA, brewed with Citra, Equinot, and Mosaic hops. Um, on top, on top, and you are oh, sorry, on top, and you are greeted. So up top. And you're greeted with loads of tropical flavours mixed with a bitter resinous note yet juicy hop backbone this commemorates this commemoration it gives a wealth of complexity um to this beverage okay dokie it's very hard to read but my eyesight isn't what it used to be so there you go so let's pop it open let's see what we've got like i say i think about it i just don't remember Whoa, that nearly went everywhere. The top of the old uh, was full. So, pour away. Out of Denmark, these guys, dry and bitter. Like I said, they must have been at the beer, the beer expo, otherwise I wouldn't have had this t-shirt. I just don't remember drinking their stuff. Bad, really. So, um, beer in a glass, what have we got? Again. Hazy, cloudy, orange beer, with fanterish, two fingers of tightly compact, bubbly head, soapy white, daz white, 
smell it, just wafting it around there. Yeah, I'm getting sort of big, big notes of orange and big notes of citrus. So it's got a big nose, so we can smell. Hmm, that's unusual. It's a little bit subdued. I was expecting a big punchy aroma. Um, you got kind of, kind of got more as it was wafting about. I was wafting about at the start of the uh, after the, the pour. Um, there is there is fruit there, but it is really really subdued. Um, it smells a little bit sweet. Um, what there is on the aroma, it's fruity. It's tropical. There's just oranges. Mango is a little bit of a little bit of grapefruit, but I thought it was going to be a big smack in the chops of aroma, and it really isn't. It is very very subdued. Right, let's go for the mouthfeel. Medium carbonated, quite nice actually. As the, as the carb goes, it's just very round. It does kind of go, it just bursts and as bubbles do, obviously. I am um, body. It's light actually very light I thought it was, again thought it was going to be thicker than what it actually was right. let's go for a big taste let's get this put this baby through its paces I give my best shot um that is wonderful okay fruity it's light bodied it's fruity I am um, it starts off with mango peaches apricots a little bit of zest from a, a lime maybe a lemon that type of citrus zest which is quite nice then that fades and you get a nice bitterness but as the bitterness is working through and, and, and setting itself up there's a little bit of a bubblegum flavour going on It's really not as as, as thick body and as heavy body as, as I was expecting to. Like I said a little bit earlier, on. it's very very quaffable. If this is a six point two, then it's well hidden. If it's an eight point two, it's even better hidden. This is so good. I like this a lot. It's super easy drinking. Um, this can is straight off the shelf, straight out the shop. It's so it's at room temperature. Um, so we'll get the, the full effect of everything. It is absolute quality. It's lovely. How did I'm just trying to figure out what the percentage is? That's why I keep knocking down. I'm sure it's six point two. That's all I'm looking. I'll take a photograph of it and I'll let you know a little bit later on. Um, Great, the bitterness, back end bitterness is just really nice. It's not overpowering. I say there's a little bit of a bubblegum flavour going on. Um, once all the fruit kind of subsides a little bit, this bitterness takes over. The the, the bubblegum flavour is there right in the middle, and it's not unpleasant. Um, it's a fruity bubblegum, like a um, a juicy a Wrigley's juicy fruit, if you know what that is. Very very agreeable. Could drink a lot of these quite easily. I am very dangerous, very dangerous indeed. I am £4.25. I paid for it. Sounds a Barton's, and for me, that's not bad, not a bad price considering it's Danish. I am resinous yet juicy hop uh, backbone. There's a little bit of a pineiness to it, a bit of resinous to it, but resonate resonation. There's a bit of, of, of resin there, but it's not it's not massive. And it's good. But it does say trouble, yeah, tropical fruits. Yeah, it's it's, it's quality it's a quality drink. So if you've had this dank and juicy by dry and bitter and can we actually remember drinking it? As I can't. Uh, let me know what you think. Put a little comment in the box below. I've actually got a video from 
the craft beer expo that I might put up a little bit later on. Uh, it is a little bit ropey um, towards the end. I, um, I had somebody else try to control the video, control the camera, so they had to tell them up three or four times to switch it off. Um, but I might put it up just to give you a bit of a flavour of what was going on. That was drinking a, Nor a Northern Monk English quad beer, 12%, and it was beautiful. <sighs> anyway, if you've had this beer, like I say, because I can't remember drinking it, let me know what you think. Put a little comment below, please, in your box. There will be a link to the dry and bitter web page as well. So, thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. Um, hit the subscribe button, which is down around here somewhere um well down there when if you watch it for the first time um and get yourself to bat and to pick up a can of this and can juicy by dry and bitter beautiful i'll see you in the next one double hands out hail the ale bye bye